The following podcast is intended for mature audiences. If you enjoy our work, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow the links in the description. Thanks for your support, and enjoy. Greetings and salutations, listener. It is I, Eric J. Chucky, joined, as always, by my tag team partner, the boy. Hey! This is the Two Nerds Podcast, and... I'm we really late, mad. son! Okay, we are, yeah, we, we, we late, we late. Um, like, we have a routine on Mondays. We've got certain shit that needs to happen on Mondays. Monday night is podcast night. Monday night is trash night. Monday night is, uh, I gotta clean up the litter box night. You know. So on and so forth. So on and so forth. What happened instead of, we got most of that done, but uh, then we started playing WWE, and it was really fun, and we were both having a really good time, and then we realized it was 5 (laughs) a.m. What's a podcast? So, yeah, there was a bit, uh, we'll call it a research delay. Yes, we we had to do some additional research, which I'd love it if that's actually what happened, because like, you know, oh yeah, we need to check out career mode or universe now, we can't fucking touch that shit. Nope. We make dudes, we, we laugh at dudes, we play matches, that's all we've been doing. And that's all that needs to get done, because it's a fun-ass video game. Yeah, um, I'm going to get out here right now and say this. I'm sure we'll mention one or two things later. Um, You know, I've... This is the first year I've ever been on Reddit. Um, I got on last year, uh, around this time, actually, to check out Brave XV's stuff, and it's expanded. And the things people ask the most about this fucking game... Hey, it's Train. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but I can. um, Is... Is it still glitchy? Is the career mode any good? And, like, can I do this this dream, you know, thing that I am not going to be able to do? And even in asking it, I know I won't be able to do. It's just, I guess I want to disappoint myself. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> no, no to this that. This is a complete aside. <laughs> but when you said, hey, it's train. <laughs> I just, I wish you edited this podcast at all, ever. So I could just, like, throw Soul Sister in there yeah, for five hey, seconds? Just, like, just <laughs> very quietly in the background. Just, hey. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gladder to see the fucking, uh, the choo-choo outside than that douchebag. <laughs> just, oh, I don't, I don't know why the, the fucking scenario would not leave my brain. No, I get it, dude. I get it. I get it. It happens to me, too. Specifically that. But, uh. Yeah, um, whatever you were looking for probably isn't the game. Um, they've made a lot of quality of life improvements, so I don't know if it was reasonable, sure. But, like, um, oh, uh, if you edit a regular wrestler's attire, say, like, Cesaro for the bar entrance, he rips off his tuxedo. Um, if you edit your Cesaro, he doesn't do that anymore. Because graphical limitations, that's a special, you know, suit mesh that he rips off. You don't just get to edit that. He, you can't just give him like a a shiny golden suit that he'll then rip off because yeah. that's not it's the the garment the garment is not there that suit mesh that he rips off when they cut away from him that's that's he's already in the wrestling attire they've hand animated that yeah that's that's a different thing same thing with like TJP's hood or AJ Styles hood you can tell with TJP's hood you can tell. Yeah. Because it, it slips back really, really smooth in an eerie way, and you could sort of tell that that was a specific animation. Sure. Um, so, yeah, when people ask for stuff like that, no, dude. And if they did do that, you have got to know you would have heard about it three fucking months ago. Yeah, because they'd have been like, you can edit Cesaro's suit color, you can give him a pink suit, and he'll rip that shit off, too. You know why they would have talked about that three months ago? Because they would have been really fucking proud of that. And it's a selling point. It's a selling point the creator wrestler community would love to hear. There's small shit... That they don't talk about, but, like, okay, so about two weeks before the game comes out, they send it out to all the prominent YouTubers, or they invite them somewhere to check it out. This year they went to the WWE archives, which, that alone is cool as hell. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you would have heard from them that, you know, if you're on the Reddit, we would have posted, and it would have been like, you can do this now, check it out. Which, apparently, is not enough for people, because you get, like, 20,000 on the same fucking question every day. But, um... Like that, yeah, well, that's forums in general. <laughs> that's YouTube comment sections. If it's not hate, it's, hey, it, do you guys know what this means? Man, check four posts up. <laughs> um, 
But anyway, uh, thing number two, house career mode. Um, it sounds a little tedious this year. Um, I haven't played it myself. I'll let you know if I end up playing it via a tweet or something. My Twitter is in the description as always. So, so is mine for all that that matters. If you want to see someone retweet my tweets every now and then. He's or, your guy. And occasionally retweet other people's tweets every now and again. It's me and Max Landis. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, and uh, is it still glitchy? God, fuck yes, it's still glitchy. Dude, look, I'm sorry. It's gonna, it's gonna, that's always gonna be the case unless they take a year off, and they're not gonna do that. No, because that's not how that studio works. Because I mean, it, and it, it boggles my mind because it seems like people almost get it, except they don't. Because you know they're like. Man, like, if they wouldn't release it every year, well, dumbass, they have to. Like, that's the thing. You know, or if they if they would take more than a year to make the game, that's how the game works. And besides, if they took more than a year to make the game, you'd be pissed off because all the gimmicks would be out of date. Oh, yeah, sure. That's that's another issue. Like, like people, I am I am pleasantly surprised that Matt and Jeff are making DLC this year. Yeah, because, like, dude, fucking... F- Video games are hard to make. Well, and typically speaking, <laughs> before WrestleMania is the cutoff date. If something happened at WrestleMania, it's probably not going to be in the game. Jinder Mahal, looking like he does, is like cobbled together last minute stuff. He's somewhere between Jinder Mahal before he got jacked and, and him now. <laughs> and yeah. And him and, and the the Maharaja. A lot of his shit is out of date. His entrance is old. A lot of Trons and entrances are out of date because they because revamped them in, in the last couple months. In wrestling, shit changes quickly. Yep. And it did not. It changes more quickly than a video game developer could be reasonably expected to keep up with. Sure. Am I sad that the bar's cool new outfits aren't in there? A little. I'm a little sad about it because they have cool, dope new outfits. But at the same time. They'll be in next year's game, and um, real talk, I'm going to buy that one too, unless it looks like garbage. <laughs> yeah, unless they take five step back, steps back like they did, uh, I think it was 2K15 that we didn't buy. Something like that. Um, yeah. The first gen- the first of the new generation was just, you could tell it was the prototype. Yeah. But this game, I want to talk about this game. Yeah, let's talk about this game. Is it good? Yeah, it is good. Okay. Um, Thank you for coming, everyone. <laughs> it's... It's a w- If you've played a WWE 2K game before, you're not going to be surprised by this one. Um, it's a WWE 2K game. I do want to get one of the o- literally one of the only pieces of like real genuine criticism I have of the game um, out of the way right now. Which is that I don't know why it happened, but the targeting system took a fairly sizable step backward. Like, and you know, honestly, I kind of want to sit down and fuck with it because I feel like we did this last year. Like... The it's, it used to be like it it was set to manual and manuals terrible in multi person matches because it doesn't it doesn't target when you click the stick or whatever button you push on PlayStation to target the next guy on manual targeting settings it goes through the list it goes through the list not your nearest person which would be to me the most logical way of doing that which is click the stick to target the person nearest you. Click it again to go to then default to go through the list. Or next nearest or next nearest or whatever. But like maybe it's hard to program that, maybe sure. determining where another person is situationally, but no, it's not. I know it's not because the auto targeting does that, but badly. <laughs> and the semi auto targeting does that, but somehow worse. I have had the uh, I have I have been in the middle of a diving attack. Literally in the air and had the system on semi-auto where I've manually targeted one at wrestler change to another wrestler on the other side of the ring so that he so that my dude kind of curves in midair for no reason and hits nobody. <laughs> it sometimes feels like the computer is out and out trying to screw me over. Uh, last night we had a match and I don't know what combination of buttons you press, but it was a three on three tag match and um you can choose to either tag out, you know, when you set up the match, you can control everybody on your team, or you can control one guy on your team, and then when you tag out, the AI goes in and does stuff. Well, we both had controlling well, everybody. And, and, like, I... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we were both controlling everybody in the match. I was on one side, boy was on the other. And at one point, like, he was kicking my ass really hard, 
and pressed, like, every button. I don't know what happened, if the game got confused by the inputs, or this was independent of that. And then suddenly he was controlling an illegal man. And any time he tagged out, it would uh, switch him so to clear. an illegal man. Just so we're clear, I didn't start controlling the person. I had selected the one guy. I had started controlling a different person I selected yeah. than the first... Because, like, I can understand if it just defaulted to the other control scheme, where I control one person. Right, but no, it would, it would switch you out. It would switch me out to whoever wasn't in the match. So, uh... So he won that match. Yeah, um, well, I, it, it was still close, because, you I mean, you rubbed my face into the canvas. But, uh... And, you know, when I, they announced it, uh, one of the big new features is eight-man matches. When they announced it, I went, uh, I I, <laughs> when I When they announced it, I went, yeah, because I missed those. Those are cool. And more mans means more mans, and that's fun. But I may have a bit of buyer's remorse. Well, because like. Because that's a little hectic. Well, oh, sure. Not only is it hectic, but it's also, like, really taxing on the system, especially if you've got creator wrestlers in there. The game kind of goes... I don't know what's happening. And you, and you, you enter their lag state. It's not... But it's not, like, jerky. If it was jerky lag, it'd be way worse. Oh, know? God, yeah. But it's not. It's it's as if everything takes on, shall we say, a more cinematic flair. It's like if you were playing... Um, uh, for all you SNES heads out there like me, um, if you were playing Super Street Fighter II Turbo, and you had entered the code and taken the turbo meter all the way up, right... And then mid-match, you went back down to nothing. You're still playing a perfectly smooth game that functions properly, but instead of going at hyper-fighting speed, you are now going at, you know, plodding caterpillar speed. And it's, like, it's actually not all that much, but it fucks with your timing sure. so much. Yeah, in a game where timing is so critical, it's like, whoa, what am I doing? But it's still smooth. Like, it still feels like a game, just like, wow, this game is awfully slow. Because the computer is basically going, and the processor in the Xbox One is basically going, um, I, uh, I expect uh, this to get patched. Um, maybe, because they had the same problem last year. I expect it to get patched so that under most circumstances we're running it. I think the worst stages. we had was when you have your, you, there is, he is a trio of creator wrestlers who all have, like, warrior tassels and fuzzy boots and, like, extra physics it items. Different materials and, yeah. But it, and it did that when we did six-man matches with just regular guys. We did the New Day versus, uh... Oh, that, was, that was even a tag match, I think it happened in... We did another six-man match, and it, and it happened, though. Oh, oh, did we do another six-man and, match? And, oh, oh, yeah, now I remember the six-man <laughs> match. Good God. <laughs> So, oh. you may have heard of the Triple H Triple Threat of Yore. Well, I believe we mentioned it. I think we did a podcast on the game last year. Um, and if not, I'm sure we mentioned it at some I point. I think we did the Triple H Triple Threat two years ago. But There was uh, there were three versions of Triple H in one of the previous versions of the game. So, I demanded that the first match, when I found that out, I laughed and demanded that the first match we do be a Triple H Triple Threat. Yeah, because last year we played the girls. Because they finally added in the, like, Asuka and Bailey and them. Yep. So, uh... You demanded the Triple H Triple Threat. And then we did it. This year, there were three versions of Triple H. There's Old Dad Triple H, Prime Shovel Triple H, and DX Triple H. Mm -hmm. um, but, oh, that's not all. <laughs> there exists three of another superstar. Well, I mean, there, there are three Undertakers, and there's actually, I think, four McFoley's um, of various stripes. Are they all playable simultaneously? Uh, yes. Can I do a Foley four-way? You could do a Foley four-way. There's, there's two Cactus Jack. An extreme Jack. rules elimination Foley four-way. Fund it! Uh, there's two Cactus Jack, a dude loving a mankind. Um, but uh, the, there's another guy who's got three separate playable attires, and that's John Cena. And, do, 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 do. Uh, and, and my team, John's Cena. Big match Johns. Uh, okay. <laughs> so the, we picked it and I was like oh my god no we have to do this and then he, he uh, he's like you're a bigger fan of Triple H you play Triple H I will play John Cena and we got in the match and it's it was especially it was especially humorous because Triple H because of the time difference in all his different versions looks like a man and his two sons yes like a guy who had kids maybe in his 20s 
and ha- his two sons, his two adult sons, who look a lot like him. Yeah, one's about 25, one's maybe 30, and then there's Dad. Who's in, like, in his 50s. But, however, John Cena, who is born of Krypton and does not age like we humans... <laughs> the only way to tell those three units apart is the color of their jorts. And two of them are wearing black jorts. So you had to look at the shoes. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, there were so many riotously funny moments during that. And just their identical faces and expressions just led... They were like Pokemon. We decided they just went, John Cena, John Cena, John Cena, John Cena. Whereas my dudes are perfectly normal. Like, they're... Three like, they di- could be three different wrestlers. The three different... Wow, those guys look really similar. I can understand why they put them in a team. Wrestlers. Yeah. Whereas this... It looks like a man and his sons. Um, <laughs> this, these were this horrible is, cloned triplets. This is, these are the John Cena. These were super soldiers created by the government that escaped. <laughs> Especially because they have the same... They all have the same frame and rig. So they all have the same animations. And because they are exactly the same and they're dressed exactly the same and they look exactly the same, sometimes they do the same animations in the same time frame and it would just be the John Cena dance has begun. <laughs> it was the fucking Stepford Cena. It was good. Um... God, we laughed forever at that uh, shit. Big Match Johns won. Big Match Johns did because win. They, 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 they found a way. They found a way. They have a way of winning matches, those Big Match Johns. Uh, just so we're clear, Big Match Johns was something that didn't get said at all during the match until he won, and then me and him both simultaneously went, Big Match Johns! <laughs> and now we've made them a team in the game. They have a special entrance. <laughs> <laughs> they enter together. And Big Match Johns. And we're going to have... More people are going to fight Big Match Johns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's we're going to see if someone manages to unseat the Big Match Johns. It's going to be hard because I'm, they they just have a way of winning. Yeah. They, they just they find a way. Mm-hmm. When, the, when the stakes are high. Uh... <laughs> but the, um, the game itself, the game as a whole... Um, I feel like I've trod this ground so much in my personal life that it's hard to dig it back up for the podcast. Um, first of all, the graphics are amazing. Yeah, they really are. They're, they're a noticeable step up from just last year. And it's because they didn't have to design for the 360 and the PS3. This is the, Those consoles are not WWE 2K18 approved. That's only on this the Xbox One. This is the first One. time, right? Yes, this is the first time. So they didn't have to design for those so they could up their graphics significantly the new lighting engine is fucking gorgeous um they have glow and black light textures and glitter textures for uh your attire parts um and all of the other textures got vastly improved like so much so that one of the i have uh, one tag team who the the one of the dudes in the tag team has been wearing timbalins basically since i made him he's an efed character um He's been wearing brown leather Timberlands. That's what he wears to the ring. It's, it's I made them because I don't really have them in the game, so I just made some that look similar. And they look... They're one of the prettiest things I've made. And all I did was add the leather texture. Yeah, like last year, the textures had names, and you could kind of see what they were going for, but it was more like, well, I'll use this close enough. This or time, I'll pick the one that looks the most like what I want it to look. It says leather, but it looks a lot more like plastic on this thing. Right. This time, uh, with much more um, overall coverage of items uh, applied to, the textures look like what they say they are. There's even some weird things where you'll get like a cable knit sweater, and you'll change it to leather, and it looks like leather, and that does not look right. Yeah, don't make a cable knit sweater out of leather. I don't think that's a great idea. Like, you'll get, or I'll like, you'll pick, oh, I'll turn it to vinyl. That'll, no. It still does, it still looks like it's wool, but it's vinyl. Mm, your the part of your brain goes, no, no. Oh, yeah. Not, the, not like, that, not that. There, there was a guy I have who's wearing uh, the upper part of a gi as like a, an undergarment, so that he's got something floaty hanging around his... Uh, waistline and I made the texture for part of it um, diamond plate like steel yeah uh, or or whatever it is it's metallic close. well it's not metallic there's there's like another one they have that's it, it's not even called diamond plate but whatever it, you know what I'm talking about if you have the game um, and it looked cool when he was standing there but when I took him into the match 
and this little flappy bit of what is, the game recognizes as cloth was reflecting like metal. It looked like he was wearing aluminum foil. Uh, yeah, it looked ridiculous. I had to change it back to leather. That looks much better. Uh, although, to be fair, wrestler wearing aluminum foil, excellent. Um, he can join the aluminum foil columns from Dark Souls. Uh... I was sad when I got out of that zone and they stopped looking like aluminum foil so much. That is sad. It was sad. But, uh, yeah, the, the lighting is magnificent. Um, the creator wrestlers look just as good as the wrestlers if you don't suck. Um, uh, look, all right, special shout out to all of those wonderful, hopeful young men and women on the uh, on the WWE upload section who have uploaded their... Their personal OC pulls stone steel to to the things. You're not good at making things. I have seen some fucking amazing stuff. Uh, yes, but also many, many, um... What did you call him? CM what? Uh, uh like, CM Negan. Yeah, Negan Punk or it's CM like Negan. That, yeah. Uh, there's, there's so many, like, five-head versions of wrestlers... And guys where the face mapping has gone wrong in all sorts of the wrong ways. So, like, I like the face mapping idea. It's a good gimmick idea, but I don't think it's... I don't think it works. It's not the way of the future. No. Um, it's a good idea that only works... Actually, it works really, really well in one specific circumstance. If you take a picture designed to work with face mapping... Sure. ...against a clean white background of preferably a bald guy... Uh, with neutral lighting that matches the lighting inherent to the game. Like, if you went all the way, if you basically ran a graphics studio, you could get that to work really well. Sure. Or, or if you just happen to have that kind of option nearby, you know, a well-lit room. You know, most people have overhead lighting. This is a strange house that does not. Oh, uh, no, no, that's not true. We have it. Just someone, it's just one of the members of the house hates it. Well, I mean, I suppose we do, but it's like our... our even when the lights are on, it's no, it's not much brighter. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's we're, nice and yellow, we're like cave it's the nineties. People, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you're if you're trying to make fucking uh, who was it we kept seeing that had a horrible face map? Hogan gets this a lot actually, and there's a lot of Hogan wrestlers because he's not on the the he's, roster. He's he, not allowed. He's still in timeout. He's still um, in timeout. <laughs> But, uh, you know, they'll just grab some random picture of him off the internet, and you can see where it's, like, sliding off of his face because it's not accurate, or, or where the skin tone doesn't match the skin tone from the rest of his body. Which... Or he's making this goofy expression. There was a, a girl that I was almost positive was face map. I couldn't see it from where I was. Boy said she wasn't. But I have seen this before, where they get a picture of somebody smiling. And, like, for you guys who don't know how that works, you're taking... A PNG or a JPEG or whatever you happen to upload, and you're slapping it on the wrestler's face. The model still moves. So if you take a picture of someone smiling, they got teeth lips. Well, essentially, or like uh, it's uh, the worst part is the worst is when someone's smirking. Sure. This is what happened to Mass Effect Andromeda. So a lot of people are saying is that the base model was probably slightly smirking when they rigged up the female writers. Um, animations because what you're doing is you're pinning that jpeg different points of it to different points of the model so it knows how to manipulate the jpeg so as to move the face right so if your character if the person you take a picture of isn't doesn't have a neutral expression on if they're smirking everything they do will contain a smirk including an expressions which cannot by their nature contain a smirk and it looks Weird. Well, yeah, I'm not even talking about that kind of Uncanny Valley stuff. I'm talking about, like, this is a photorealistic face paint of someone else's face while they're grinning. That I am wearing. Uh, which, to be fair, would be excellent. Well, like, if you did that intentionally just to, you know, fuck with people, sure. But, like, we're not talking... That's not that's not what know. homie uploaded Sasha Banks no, to do kind no, of thing. No, you know? I kind of want to make that now. I kind of want to make a wrestler who wears like who has like a normal face, like build him a nice normal face, and then make a photorealistic picture of like AJ Styles smiling with like his teeth showing, and paint it on so that over the match it wears off. <laughs> yeah, face paint can wear off now. I I haven't figured out the trick to do it exactly, but we've seen it are a we couple sure times. In, are we sure it's enabled in ours? Because we keep thinking the face paint is wear is like has worn off, but it's. It may just be that, like, one of your, like, giggles, his face paint starts a little off. Um, I, I have a couple of theories as to why it's not working for ours, because all of my guys that have face paint so far have it, have more than one layer. 
except for Brian. Brian has just the one layer. Um, you think multiple layers is messing with it? I think it might be, but I don't know. I don't know how quick it wears off. I don't know what it takes. Like, I kind of just want to throw Gold Dust and Finn Balor, who we know it works for in a match, and just, like, beat the shit out of them. Well, I mean, like, I've seen that work, but I kind of want to see what it takes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, not do any pins or anything. Just go through hell and see what happens and see where the face paint mm-hmm. sits. But uh, it's supposed to be able to. Um, and if, if there's a glitch we're encountering, I'm sure it'll get patched. They were really good about patching it last year. I'm sure they're, they're actually, really good. Uh, I, their, sh- their support is actually usually really good. I, last year was the best support from them I've ever seen. And that's saying something, because usually their support does not lag behind. And they're not terrible, but, like, there are big, huge glitches that we had to deal with in previous years. Um, before it was a 2K game especially, but 2K took over, uh, and it it gets There was better. that one year where you couldn't edit creative wrestlers lest you delete them. Three years. I don't know how... Three years ago? No, oh, it was three years. Oh. There was one year where it was worse. There, there was one year where we forgot Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, uh, look, that's some people, if you're the kind of person who buys it and just plays the game with the dudes, that's or maybe makes one guy for career, for career mode, that's fine. That's not what we use this game for. No. We make basically entire E-Fed rosters. Um, characters from before, characters, new characters, at least a couple of my new characters, um, the few new characters I've made for E-Feds, Came from WWE games first. I was fucking around in the creative wrestler. I was like, I like this. I like this. All right. I could make a character off of this guy. Uh, I will also say that because of the additions they've added to the, the creation suite, it is so much easier to get a wrestler to look how I want them to look. Um, the, the body morphing sliders. Yeah, those body morphing sliders, they made me. They made it really, really easy. Because I have a couple guys who have very specific looks. Like I have one wrestler who is Blade. No, he's not the vampire hunter. Um, he he has a very specific look because he goes to the gym a lot, but he doesn't like cut weight. He's not trying to get abs because to get abs you have to function in very low body weight. And regardless of how fit you are to get really nice abs, you basically have to do a very specific diet regimen. He doesn't. He goes to the get gym to get strong. Which gives him a very specific look. Big flat slabs of muscle with not a whole lot of definition, but very bulky. I was able to do that easier this year than I ever have before. And um, a bunch of the first couple guys I've made this year uh, have been really thin, but with okay definition. And before, if you wanted to be thin, you were twig Stick boy. man. Yeah. You were stick boy. Now I can make these guys who don't have the massive shoulders and they don't have these huge pecs. And and these you know thin arms, but they still they look, have muscle. They definition. still look athletic. Yeah, without looking like gym rats. So I mean that's really nice, and just the upgrade to the hair textures and you know the the facial textures and just the fidelity of the graphics in general has been remarkable. Like I, I I'm really happy with every wrestler I've made so far. Um, They've all looked really well. They've all really well. They've looked really well. Okay, yeah, good. Good at looking. Yeah, uh, they've all looked really good, um, and they've all been relatively easy to make. Yeah, it's time consuming because, especially with the move lists, and we're, to be fair, we're a little picky, so it takes more time for us. Sure. Well, and but then the move lists were also kind of lazy. So, uh. Uh, well, to be fair, like a lot of the move lists are just wrestler. Like, yeah, like, there was a time when I was a kid where, you know, especially with guys I use in E-Feds, I'd be like, he does this move, this move, this move, this move, he better not do any of this move. You know, I'm not like that anymore. I'm just like, I don't know, man, like a luchador. He's, it's a wrestler. He's a big man. He does big man things. I have one character who I have to make their move set by absolute hand, and that's because, one... He has he has a very very specific move set, but thankfully he's not really active anymore, so I don't have to make him very soon um, to to like play the game a lot. And but he has a very specific move list, and also because I try and pick every single move that does body damage that I can find. Gear him for a specific purpose, yep. and for that reason, he is he's, hell to try to fight. He's hyper focused on one strategy, mm-hmm. and it, it's a good one. 
<laughs> crush your ribs. Um, if, you, if you can't if you can't breathe, can't breathe. If you can't breathe, can't kick out. <laughs> what we usually do is just copy from another wrestler or something, and then change, change the as finishers. needed. Yeah, and then we'll go through matches. And if something's like, whoa, that shouldn't be there. I didn't know you had a power bomb, Sin Cara. My bad. <laughs> or oh, uh, one of your finishers is a big is JBL's clothesline. You probably shouldn't have a clothesline as your basic running move. Let's go ahead and change that. Yeah, that kind of thing. So, I mean, you know, but whatever. I don't know. My my immersion isn't that fragile. And especially where it's been played up everywhere else. It's not a big deal for me to go, oh, whoops. Um, eh, you know what? It, as far as I'm concerned, if we're thinking about immersion, they were trying a weird thing out that night. <laughs> sure. Sometimes you do the rock slide. Uh, yeah. You'll Ill-advised. never do the rock slide. Don't ever do the rock slide. Uh, speaking of The Rock, um, uh, kudos on the soundtrack. Uh, yeah! Dude, Dwayne did a, Dwayne came to party this time. He really did. Um, I turned off one song immediately uh, before I even heard it. That's it's, there's, it's a radio edit of a specific song. Well, here's the funny thing, okay? So, the song we're talking about uh, is uh, Kid Rock's You've Never Met a Motherfucker Quite Like Me. And at the end of the, the CD single of the song, there's a bunch of, like, noise and junk. Okay. Like, for a long time. Right. Now, the radio edit of this song is, You've Never Met a White Boy Quite Like Me. Right. Which is the version that's in this game. The, the, ah, ah, ah! The big part, the part that bothers me is that's not the same number of syllables. No, it's, I mean, it sounds okay. But still, uh, they've still got the junk at the end. So they made a specific version with the worst versions. They made they made the undirector's cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, and you know, I also question uh, down with the sickness. It's edited for you know censorship purposes, but it also still has the rant in the middle. But none of the curse words in the rant. Hint: the curse words are not why that rant was taken out of the radio edit. <laughs> like, and I mean the fact that Black Skinhead is in there at all. Dude. <laughs> Half of black skinhead is in this. Yeah, the second half is just like every other word. And um, but there's also a lot of great stuff. They've got one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Which today we have not heard all of once. Yeah, I I will celebrate the day when we finally do. But it has to happen naturally. We can't just sit there. It has to be while we're playing the game. Yes, like I'm making a character. If I go to make a character and it comes on, I'll be like, this might be the day. (laughs) But the song is 45 minutes long. He's got Blues Brothers in there. He's got it's a Bruno Mars, great soundtrack. Like the good Bruno Mars too, not like the shitty Bruno Mars. No, yeah, like modern five years Bruno ago. Mars. Yeah, this is good stuff. So yeah, kudos to The Rock on that. And people are all like, "Did he really pick this?" I saw an interview with him. He was talking in specific detail about every song. And so like, if he didn't, he he fucking he, he did pretended research. to really well. If, <laughs> if he didn't, he studied the role of The Rock. But if I had made the soundtrack, <laughs> and he was acting for us, in which case, either way. Good job. If you're going to commit enough, you might as well have done it, so who cares? Yeah. Um, Honestly, it probably would have been easier to just do the thing. Right? So, uh, yeah, that, that's that been pretty good. And, of course, we sprinkled a bunch of wrestler themes throughout. Um, because those are fun. Some get removed as we put them on wrestlers, like creator wrestlers, so that we don't have to hear them too much. Yeah, there is that. Um, a couple special shout-outs. One, Shinsuke Nakamura's entrance is both amazing, and I'm never going to watch it again. Because it's great and amazing, and I loved it, and it took four years off my life. <laughs> Shinsuke is the new Undertaker. It was, um, it was the longest. It, it was the longest twenty-five million years of my life. Gosh, what uh, I love that they've added gyms and the Hammerstein Ballroom as um, arenas. The Hammerstein's a regular arena, and gyms you can make and create an arena. Um, that's super cool. Also. I don't think we've done a match at the Hammerstein. I want to do a match at the Hammerstein. I think we did a... Maybe I did a hardcore match there, but... I, you know, what the hell? I don't give a shit. We got RVD. Let's do RVD versus Big Match Johns. Oh, handicap match. Oh. <laughs> the heels win this time. <laughs> Somebody's going to riot, but there are three John Cena, so they're fucked. Yeah, it's like if the whole Justice League shows up. You just don't do it. Um... Oh. I, there's not really, like, uh, rather, there's a whole bunch left to say. Uh, I, they put a Plague Doctor mask in. I've managed to make meme magic real. Um. <laughs> uh, I asked them, actually, specifically for that and the not a shirt. I'm not taking credit for the not a shirt. I'm just happy about it. A not a shirt, by the way, is when you take a shirt and um, starting at just outside the neckline, you cut off both sides. So you have 
really long rectangle with a hole uh, in the middle. Essentially, you have a flexible signboard you're wearing. Yes, <laughs> a cloth signboard. Um, and uh, they were huge in the 90s. Everyone did that shit. X-Pac, NWO. But they were gone for several years. Yeah, right? they haven't had them. They had one that, like, Ryback they've got, they've had. They've got a weird thin one, but they do have one. Yes, it, it is. It's smaller, but it, it's there, and it's loose, and it's not tucked in like the Vaude Villains one. Um, Which is weird. But I, I also asked for the Plague Doctor mask, and, and thank you in part to Marty Skrull, Yeah, I'm thanks, sure. Marty. Marty, you got it over, my dude. You got the gimmick over. Good job. Um... But we've got that now, so like every Plague Doctor we've created is part of our stories and our EFED, you know. And there's a lot. I've still got some to create, and I've already made four, I think. Yeah. (laughs) So, uh, it's been, it's just been fantastic. And and being able to layer stuff, and you still have some problems, but most of the time the system catches it beforehand. Like, they're like, no, don't put these two things together, that will end poorly. Don't do it, fam. <laughs> let it let it go. <laughs> um, they did that cool thing, quality of life, where all of the names for first name, last name, and all that shit are all there. So all the first names, last names, and nicknames you can pick from any of those slots. Which good because why wouldn't you? <laughs> well, like I've got a guy named Black Jack Benjamin, and Black was in last names before, and Jack and Benjamin were in first names. So but I guess you I couldn't overlap him. Them. Jack Benjamin Black, but that's not his fucking name. <laughs> his name is Black Jack Benjamin. And now I can do that. Which is great. I mean, um, you still have to do some of this shit sometimes Ray where it's Wyatt's, like... Bray Wyatt's girlfriend sometimes just doesn't quite get it. It's Z- okay. Zuconi Black instead of Zombie Black, but uh, whatever. <laughs> do what you gotta do, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I... A lot of, like... A lot of, like, I made an entire EFED character based purely on the fact that both of his names were in <laughs> the selectors. Yes. Um, I, you know, I think that happens a lot because I'll, uh, you know, someone will sign up in an EFED or I'll see uh, an EFED player on Twitter and, um, EFED player, that sounds unnatural. I don't think I've ever said those words like that before. EFEDer. Yeah, I know. I don't know why my mouth did that. Anyway. Uh, I'll see them on Twitter, and, and they'll have a certain name, and I'm like, oh, that's an interesting name. I wonder how they come up with that. And then I'll be making a wrestling and, you'll see and I'll see the, those names, the... and I'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's how you did it. Okay. You either got ridiculously lucky, or this was planned. Just as planned. Uh, but I honestly, we could go on for a long time, but I want to play the game, so we're done now, I think. All right, hey, you have the magic words, my friend. Everything's better when nerds talk about it. Nerd? That's right. Everything's better when nerds talk about it. There, I did it right now. Stop it. I want to go play. Fuck it, let's go.